Hi everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for your Tuesday Matt Pilates balance and coordination workout. I'm filming from my parents' lake house um, this Monday and Tuesday today. So hopefully it'll give you a little change of scenery. I'm going to film um, our workout today outdoors. You can get a nice view of Smith Lake in Arley, Alabama. I hope you are well. I hope you are enjoying the workouts. We're in week six um, and hopefully we'll be able to do some in-person workouts sooner than later. Today I'm going to be using the um, flex band or uh, resistance tubing. So whichever one you have. Last week I used the flex band. This week I'm using some resistance tubing. Okay, so if you have something similar to this with handles at the end, I'll show you how to incorporate that into your workout. But again, you can use a flex band. It's just um, sort of the flatter, um, stretchy material that doesn't have handles on the ends of it. And if you don't have any of those things, you can do this entire workout without any equipment. Okay, so I'll make sure to give you modifications for both, whether you're using equipment or not. And then you might want to grab a towel. And um, you guys know I like a hand towel that you just fold up one, two, three times. I think yesterday I said four times, but you get the idea. You just want like a little one to two inch um, elevation to place behind your head if you have neck tension or find that your head tends to do this when you lie back, right? Your chin is a lot higher than your forehead when you're lying on your back. And if you're a tucker, you tend to do this and kind of look down at your knees when you lie on your back, then you just want to be aware of that and reverse it, right? So you just want to make sure you're creating space behind the back of your neck. And then throughout all of the exercises, especially crunches, we always want to make sure we're never jamming our chin into our chest, right? Or into our neck. There's always just a little tilt or a head nod. And that's what we, um, I like to at least try to go over in the warm up sometimes. So you'll be familiar with that if you've done uh, workouts with me before. All right, so we're gonna work on your balance. We're gonna work on your coordination. The Tuesday, Thursday workouts tend to be a little more challenging. So um, I hope you're up for the challenge today. You'll be fine, don't worry, they're not that hard. Um, and I hope again, you enjoy the workout. I hope you're well, thank you so much. Always for your support, it means so much to me right now. I'm so very, very grateful, and I hope you know that. All right, I'll see you soon. We're going to begin seated today on your mat. We'll begin our warm up and seated today for a little bit of breathing so you can feel the size of the ribs and how the breathing muscles um, affect the movement of your body. So make sure that you are upright and that you're not feeling slumped over here, okay? If you are, if you're feeling tight in the hips, knees or lower back, or you just can't get yourself up on your sit bones, make sure you do prop yourself up on something, some folded up towels, blankets, um, or even some yoga blocks side by side are an excellent way to fix your alignment. All right, let's breathe. Inhale, lift your right arm up, and then exhale, draw the navel in and stretch over to the side. Take a deep breath in there to stay and feel the right side of your rib cage expand. And then exhale, draw the abdominals in as you come back to start position. Left side, inhale, lift. Exhale, draw the navel in, stretch over. And make sure you're not turning or collapsing or staying very open, inhale. Feel the left side of the rib cage expand. And then exhale, draw your abdominals and use your core to bring everything back to center. Let's do one more on each side. Inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, draw the navel in and stretch over. Take a deep breath in and exhale, come back to center. Notice which side feels tighter for you. Inhale, lift the left arm up last time. Exhale, draw the abdominals in, stretch over. Breathe into the side of the rib cage and then exhale, come all the way back to start. Beautiful, you guys. So what we're gonna do next, one more breathing exercise and seated. You're gonna sit, I'll turn to the side so you can see, with your legs out in front of you, knees bent, feet flat. And then you'll inhale to prepare again, make sure you're up on your sit bones, propped up if necessary. Exhale to round over the legs. And you can just rest your arms and hands on your shins and ankles. And then I want you to breathe into the back of the body three times, inhale deeply into the back of the ribs. And then as you exhale, draw your abdominals in and feel that sort of stretch your lower back a bit. Relax the tops of your shoulders and the back of your neck. Inhale into the back of the ribs. Exhale, draw the abdominals in. And one more time, feel that back of the body expand as you inhale deeply. And then exhale, draw the navel in. Good, y'all hear the birds chirping? It's so nice out here. So we're gonna inhale, stack all 
all the way up. Really nice job on the breathing. And then we're gonna roll you all the way down. So I'm just gonna turn around here. And we'll inhale to prepare. Make sure that you take out anything that's underneath your seat. And then exhale, scoop the abdominals, roll down until your head is resting on the mat or on any um, prop that you've decided to put up underneath your head for neck support. All right, so we're back inside. Working under the sun is not the best for filming. I can't see, I'm squinting, and I'm putting myself at risk for skin cancer. So that being said, we're back inside, but maybe you got a little quick view of the lake. So, all right, you guys, we're going from neutral to imprint here. So we'll inhale with a little bit of space underneath your lower back and then exhale, draw the navel down and that's going to create your imprint. So you want to make sure you're not squeezing your butt or pressing into your feet there. Inhale, go back to neutral. Let's do that two more times together. Exhale, light imprint and then inhale back to that neutral. So it's very, very subtle. You should barely be able to see my uh, body, my pelvis doing much of anything. And then one more time, exhale, draw the navel down to create that imprint. And then inhale, go back to neutral. Very good. And then remove anything that is underneath your head. We're going into some hip rolls with a little balance challenge right in our warm up. So walk the feet a little closer in to your hips than they were before so that it feels like your heels are right underneath your knees. And then the knees and feet should still be hip distance apart. So not too wide. You want to think more than hips. Think more like your sit bones, okay, which are a little more narrow than you might think. Inhale in your neutral. Exhale, just like we did right before this, find your imprint. Now press into your feet instead of squeezing your glutes to pick your pelvis up. Good, now stay there to breathe in and then exhale, roll through your imprint and come back down into neutral, inhale, good. Exhale, find that imprint and then pick the pelvis up. Inhale to stay at the top, make sure your inner thighs stay turned on so you're not letting your knees drop open. And then exhale to find your imprint and release back into neutral. Let's do that one more time. Inhale in neutral. Exhale, find imprint. Roll and pick the pelvis up. Stay there to breathe in. Good. Press into the back of your head. And then exhale to find imprint. And now we're back in neutral. All right. So we're going to add a leg lift to tabletop. Right, left, right, left. After we lift your hips up. Inhale in your neutral. Exhale to find imprint and pick the pelvis up. All right, now without letting your right hip drop, inhale, float your right leg up to tabletop. Exhale to place that foot down and re-engage your right glute. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Similarly, don't let the left hip drop. Exhale to place it down one more time each side. Inhale, lift, so you're trying to stabilize the pelvis. Exhale, good, one more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, stay here to breathe in, and then exhale to find that imprint and release back into neutral. Beautiful. So we're gonna start with the left leg first this time. So we'll stay down here, breathe in in your neutral. First, exhale, use your abdominals to find imprint, and then pick the pelvis up. Make sure you didn't jam your chin. There's always space behind the neck. Inhale, lift the left leg up to tabletop. Exhale, place it down, re-engage. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Keep that right hip level with the left. Exhale, lower. Good, inhale, lift the left again. Exhale, lower one more time. Inhale, lift the right. Good, you guys. Exhale, place it down. Stay here to breathe in. Hips are lifted, inner thighs turned on. Exhale to roll through imprint and release back into neutral. Beautiful job, you guys. We're moving into the 100, and if you have a flex band or um, resistance tubing, you're welcome to use it here. If not, you're just gonna pump the arms, okay, in space. So if you're using your resistance tubing or your flex band, it's gonna go over your shin. So let's get into start position together. Inhale in neutral, exhale to find imprint. Inhale, lift one leg to tabletop, and then exhale, lift the other leg to tabletop. So again, that strapper band goes across the shins, and you do have to keep the shins kind of level, and maybe the feet slightly tilted down, right? So not up here, or the band's gonna roll off, okay? So I'm gonna choke up on mine a little bit. I might even hold onto the handles and then choke up so they're not flopping around while I pump my arms. And you're welcome to do that. So choke up if you want more tension. This is the move. Arms stay straight. So you wanna make sure you're not pumping from the elbow or the wrist, okay? You're gonna really overexert yourself if you're doing that. So make sure the arms stay straight and then you're getting into the back muscles of the body, okay? Which are difficult to target, but really easy when you have a little bit of resistance to work with. So we'll inhale, little head nod. That's keep the head down. That's just a little tilt of your chin that I was talking about. 
in our introduction. And then exhale, draw the navel down, lift the head and shoulders. All right, arms stay straight, you ready? Inhale, two, three, four, good. Exhale, draw the belly button down. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, now, the feet are gonna wanna do this. Try to keep them still. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, good, 40. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, draw the navel down, you're halfway there, 50. Inhale, two, three, four, good. Exhale, two, three, four, 60. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 70. Inhale, two, three, four, good. Exhale, two, three, 480 inhale lift the head and shoulders a little higher exhale two three four ninety inhale last time and exhale two three one hundred inhale stay lengthen the arms lift the head and shoulders a little higher exhale relax the head and shoulders down and then go ahead and place the feet down beautiful job you guys from here, we're gonna to move to rolling like a ball, and you can use your band here. We're gonna choke up on it a little bit more, so my hands are gonna start about um, a little wider than shoulder distance apart, okay? And when you do rolling like a ball, when you roll back, you're gonna do a shoulder extension. You're gonna open the arm, so like a reverse fly to work on the posterior deltoids and upper back muscles. So for rolling like a ball, um, typically we hold on very lightly to the shins with the hands, okay? But here, you're gonna be free-forming, okay? So it's a little trickier to do that rolling like a ball. So if you need to abandon the strap and just hold on with the hands in the traditional uh, position, that's fine. All right, so we're in tabletop, we're in imprint. Inhale, little head nod, and then exhale, lift the head and shoulders. Okay, so you're gonna keep the ball shape the whole time. So let's get up to start position. You're gonna roll under the shoulders, lift the hips, and then exhale to balance behind the sit bones. And I'm scooping my tummy, I'm rounding my back. All right, so when I go back, I'm gonna open the band. You ready? Inhale, roll onto the shoulders, open the band. Exhale to balance. It's a little tougher to get up without using the hands here. Inhale, roll back, seven. Exhale, good. Inhale, six. Exhale, nice, you guys. Inhale, five. Exhale, inhale, four. Exhale, draw the abs and inhale, three. Exhale, make sure you're not on your neck. Inhale, two. Exhale, one more time. Inhale. And exhale, good. And then go ahead and roll all the way down. Feet come down, arms relax. Great work. We're gonna keep the band and roll over onto our stomach. So you're gonna be face down here for some breaststroke preps. And remember with breaststroke preps, it's not a big movement. It's about trying to get some mobility in a place that isn't very mobile for most of us, the upper middle back, the thoracic spine. So, so much of that movement is going to be conditional on how well you can access the muscles between your shoulder blades, right? How mobile can you make your shoulder blades? And that is going to help you get the extension at the middle back where things, like I said, aren't very mobile for most of us. Um, really due to postural uh, habits, right? Alignment issues throughout our day and um, a lot of sitting and screen time too. That definitely contributes. So I've still got my hands about shoulder distance apart on the band. You can choke up or in a little bit if you need to. Inner thighs come together, legs lengthen, the legs stay really energized. And then the elbows are bent, hands and elbows start down. This is gonna be a tricep extension. So just practice the arms with me. You're gonna extend your arms out, straighten the elbows, and then you bend them. So the upper arm bone stays in place, and then you extend again, okay? So this is a tricep extension working the backs of the arms. So that's the movement you're gonna be doing three times after you come up into your breaststroke prep. And when I say come up, let's do it together. I want you to inhale, roll the shoulders down and back, and lift the heart. The bottoms of my ribs are down, and the neck has no wrinkles behind. It. Okay, so I'm still looking down and I'm lengthening out of my legs without lifting them. All right, so you just inhale to lift up. And now you're going to exhale, extend the elbows, inhale, bend three, exhale, two, inhale, bend, exhale, one, inhale, bend, and then exhale, lower back down to start position. Tip of the nose can just hover off the mat. We're going to do seven more sets of those, you guys. So we're working those triceps today. Um, choke up or down on the band accordingly. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and hover, lengthen the legs. Exhale, extend the elbows three. Inhale, exhale two. Inhale, exhale one. Inhale to bend the elbows, you're still hovering. Exhale to lower back down to start position, six more. Inhale, roll the shoulders down and back to hover. Exhale, extend the elbows three. Inhale, exhale two. So the band will go across the chest. Exhale one when you extend. Inhale to bend, stay up. Exhale to lower, five more sets. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and hover. Exhale five. 
or sorry, this is three. Here's two. Good. Exhale, one. Inhale to bend, and then exhale to lower down. We have four more sets. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades down and back to hover, and then exhale, extend three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. Inhale to bend. Everything hovers. Exhale to lower. We've got three more sets. Inhale, roll the shoulders down and back and hover. Keep the eyes down. No wrinkles behind the neck. Exhale, extend the elbows. Three. Lengthen your legs without lifting them. Two. Good. Exhale, one. Inhale to bend. Exhale, lower. Two more sets, you guys. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades down and back. Draw your abs in. Exhale, three. Even though you're lying on them, exhale, two. It really helps with your back. Exhale, one. Inhale to bend. Exhale, lower. Last time here. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades down and back and exhale for three last set inhale exhale two good inhale exhale one inhale bend hover exhale lower fantastic work you guys let go of your band or strap and then we're going to press up onto all fours we're going to do an opposite arm and leg reach with abduction to make this a little harder and challenge your balance so when you're on the hand spread the fingers wide Commit the index finger knuckles to staying down. And every time you lower your arm down, your hand down, recommit that index finger knuckle. Okay, so you're keeping really good alignment and protecting your neck, shoulders, and rotator cuff. Glide the shoulders off the ears. Find neutral so you have a little dip in your lower back. Draw the abs up to support it. Knees about hip distance right underneath your hips, right? So they're not back here or too close in. Inhale to reach the right arm and the left leg out and stay. I like to flex this lifted foot and you wanna make sure you haven't lifted so high that you've rotated your hip out to the side. Okay, so everything's parallel. Now on the next inhale, we're gonna open into abduction away from the midline of the body and then exhale, bring it back eight. Good, inhale, exhale, seven. Inhale, exhale, six, working on balance. Inhale, exhale, five, glide that shoulder away from the ear. Inhale, exhale, four, good. Inhale, exhale, draw the navel in three. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, one. And then inhale, lower the hand down. Exhale, reestablish your neutral, glide those shoulders off the ears. Other side. Inhale, lift the left arm and the right leg. Stay here to exhale, draw your navel in. Inhale to open eight. Exhale, bring it in, good. Inhale, seven, no rotation here. Inhale, no wiggling of your pelvis. Inhale, exhale, four more. Inhale, exhale, press that right index finger knuckle down. Two more. One more, inhale, good. Exhale, and then inhale, lower down. And finally, let's do a little shell stretch. Good warm up today, you guys. You can open the knees or you can keep them together. You just wanna sit back, kind of round your back and let your head drop. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale. And then inhale, roll all the way up. Good work, let's move on to our workout. For our first exercise, which is half rollbacks, we're gonna begin in seated. Just like any seated exercise we do, and you know I've said it time and time again, you gotta make sure you can get up on your sit bones um, with the knees bent and the feet flat, and you shouldn't feel strain, pain, or discomfort, or a lot of struggle. So please, please, please prop yourself up on some folded blankets, folded towels, or side-by-side -side yoga blocks, okay? So that you can get up and out of your hip tightness, back tightness, and start in neutral alignment. It's so important. So I, I know I emphasize it, but I just wanna make sure that you know why it's important. All right, so the band, if you have one, is gonna go under the feet. All right, now you've gotta keep the feet pressing on the band, and also keep your heels down, right? So the band doesn't come up, all right. So if you have a flex band, you can kind of wrap it around your toes a little bit here, and it might give you a little more security, okay? So feet about sit bone distance apart. For half rollback, we're gonna start rounded over, and I'm gonna keep the hands, in, or the arms in like a bicep curl, okay? So the hands are right by the shoulders. Now, I'm gonna inhale to prepare here, and then take my C curve, my rounded spine, and roll back behind my sit bones. And then I'm gonna stay here, I'm pressing down through my heels, and I'm gonna lift my arms up. Exhale, three, yeah. Exhale, two, palms face me. Exhale, one, and then inhale, bend the elbows, and round back over, okay? So if you need to adjust the band each time, feel free. Exhale, roll back behind the sit bones. Really scoop your tummy, glide the shoulders down, and then exhale, reach up three. Good, exhale, two. Exhale, one. Inhale, bend the elbows and round over. Now make sure, neck alignment, your chin isn't jamming into your chest here, okay? Shoulders down. 
Exhale, roll back behind the sit bones, really scoop your tummy, tilt your pelvis back and aim your lower back for the mat. Exhale, three, good. Exhale, two, draw your abs and don't lose your rounded spine. Exhale, one, and then inhale, round over. Good, we're gonna do three more sets, you guys. Exhale, roll back, bring the straps with you. Exhale, three, good. Exhale, two, Exhale, abs in one. Inhale, round over. Good, two more rounds. Exhale, roll back, bring those bands with you. Exhale, three, keep your heels down. Exhale, two. Exhale, one, draw your abs in. Inhale, round over, last set. Exhale, roll back, scoop your tummy, create that C-curve, shoulders down. Exhale, three, look straight ahead. Exhale, two, draw your navel in one more time. Good, one, and then inhale, round all the way over. All right, so readjust the band. Make sure it's, if you're using the tubing, it's under your instep. If you want to wrap your toes around your flex band or your flex band around your toes, that's another option to, to keep things secure. We're going to roll all the way down. So you're going to exhale, start to roll back with your band. Now go ahead and let your arms extend and then lie all the way down on your back. All right, so when you're on your back here, you don't want anything under the head, and we're going to walk the feet in for bridge, okay? So I've still got the um, resistance tubing under the uh, instep or arches, and if you have the flex band, keep it wrapped around your toes. Now, I'm going to choke up on the band here um, because this is not too much resistance and we're doing bicep curls and you need a little more resistance for bicep curls okay so we're going to bridge with a bicep curl and i want your elbows hovering slightly off the floor so you're not pushing down and leveraging um, using your um, using physics principles instead of your muscles to get the band in or to curl into that bicep so Keep the back of the head on the mat, little space under the back of the neck. Again, heels are right under the knees or should feel like they're very close. Neutral spine. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, lift the hips, bicep curl. Inhale, lower the hips, release. Again, elbows stay hovered. Let's go for 12. Exhale, 11. Inhale, good, you guys. Exhale, 10. Inhale, exhale, 9. Again, if you need more tension, choke up. Exhale, 8. Exhale, 7. Exhale, six. Exhale, five. Keep the wrists really straight. Four. Good. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. And then we're going to stay up on this one. Exhale, lift. Okay, now release your arms. Lower your hips down about halfway. Pulse them up for ten. Good. Nine. Exhale, eight. Keep your inner thighs turned on. Six. Exhale, five. Space behind the back of the neck. Two, hold it up, one, breathe in at the top, exhale to lower the hips back down. We're gonna do another set of bicep curls with shoulder bridge. So okay, so we're really working those biceps, especially if you really choke up on your band. I'm feeling this, because I really choked up, I really challenged myself. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bicep curl, lift the hips, keep those elbows hovering, inhale lower, good. Exhale, lift the hips up, don't forget to squeeze your bum a little. Exhale, 10, working the glutes as well here, and nine, inhale, exhale, here's eight. Exhale, seven. Exhale, six. Exhale, five. Exhale, four. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. Stay up. Release your arms. Give them a break. Lower the hips down and pulse up. Exhale, ten to the top. Nine. Good. Exhale, eight. Inner thigh. Stay turned on. Six. Back of the neck has space behind it. Three. Two, press into the back of your head. One, inhale, stay at the top. And then exhale, just place the hips down. Good. And then I failed to mention, and I apologize, if you don't have a flex band for that exercise, you could certainly just use weights, okay? Um, dumbbells, maybe five to 10 pounds. Or if you've got some heavy, some big cans, maybe of um, tomatoes in your pantry, feel free to grab those too. Or you could just go through the movement. Okay, same thing with the half rollbacks. You could hold weights instead of the band as you roll back um, and lift the arms up with or without weights. The challenge for that half rollback exercise is when you lift the arms to keep your scoop. Okay, so if you want to rewind and go through those again and to practice um, with or without weights, Feel free, the beauty of at-home exercise. Next, we're rolling onto your side and you're gonna hook the band, if you have one, around the top foot, okay? So top leg is straight. And I'm gonna keep the foot flexed throughout this exercise. So I'm gonna hold both ends of the flex band 
or the resistance tubing in the top hand. And then the bottom knee is gonna be bent and we're gonna prop ourselves up on our elbow here, the bottom elbow and forearm. If this is inappropriate for you, um, if you have shoulder issues or just don't wanna do a side plank today, you're just gonna stay here, okay? The option, I'm gonna show you the exercise, is to lift the top leg. And if you don't have a resistance band or tubing, don't worry, you don't need it. You're gonna kick forward twice. This is side kick, inhale, kick, kick. And then exhale, you're gonna lift up onto the knee and elbow as you kick back. So if you choose not to lift up into that side plank for whatever reason, right, if the shoulder is bugging you, you're just gonna kick, kick, and hinge back, okay? Just keep this a leg exercise. What you can do here to make the shoulder stronger, um, if you're working on that, is to push the floor away and glide your shoulder off your ear, lift your ribs, so you're not sinking here, okay? Because this is just as bad for your shoulder um, as putting weight on it, right? So we wanna keep you here, all right? Especially, you know, if it's just as bad to slump um, for anybody, but especially if you have an injury that you're working around, all right? So glide that shoulder off the ear, lift the waist, and then you can put the hand on the hip if you want. Inhale, kick forward twice, it's a little And then you exhale, sweep back and come up onto the bottom knee if you'd like. And then gently lower, don't collapse. Inhale, kick, kick. Exhale, sweep back. And we're going for 12, so we've got 10 more. Inhale, kick, kick. Exhale, sweep. And if you need a break, just don't lift up on the next one. Inhale, kick, kick. You could just stay here, nine, right? Inhale, kick, kick, maybe every other one. Exhale, eight. Inhale, kick, kick. Exhale, seven, good. Inhale, kick, kick. Exhale, six. Inhale, kick, kick. Exhale, five. Inhale, kick, kick, good. Exhale, four. Inhale, kick, kick. Exhale, three. Inhale, kick, kick. Exhale, two, almost there. Inhale, kick, kick. Keep that shoulder stable away from your ear and release. Good work, you guys. So the whole body gets work for this exercise. Let's flip over and we'll do everything on the other side. So I'm just gonna stick my foot next to my other one, switch the hand and flip over. Okay, so again, prop yourself up on that bottom elbow and forearm, bend the bottom knee, and glide the shoulder off the ear so you're pressing the floor away from you with that elbow. Both ends of the strap or band are in the top hand. You can just place it right on your hip here. Again, check on that shoulder. Make sure it's not creeping up to your ear. And then we lift that top leg. Okay, ready? Side kick on this side. Inhale, kick, kick. And then blow out, sweep back, and lift or not. Inhale, kick kick, exhale, 11, inhale, kick, kick, exhale, 10, inhale, kick, kick, exhale, 9, good, inhale, kick, kick, exhale, 7, inhale, kick, kick, halfway there, exhale, 6, good, you guys, inhale, kick, kick, exhale, 5, 4, inhale, kick, kick, exhale, 3, inhale, kick, kick, exhale two, last time, and, and release. Good work, you guys, those aren't easy. From here, we're gonna be coming up into seated for some teaser balances. Today for your teaser balances, you're gonna hook the band under the feet. And if you don't have a band, you're not working with a band, you could hold some weights in your hands or just use no equipment at all, okay? This is hard enough on its own. So for teasers, you balance behind the zip bones. It's a little bit of a tilt of your pelvis, but unlike rolling like a ball, you wanna keep the shoulders back, right? So we're not rounding the whole spine, just that lower back a little bit, okay? Chest is open. And I'm gonna hold the band in a bicep curl grip, okay? So lift the legs up to balance or keep the feet down if you'd like. The point of um, keeping the feet down is to take some pressure off your back, but you still need to lean back to challenge your abdominals and your core, okay? So if you'd like to lift the feet up, do. And you're gonna exhale, reach the right arm up first. <sighs> Inhale, now the left. <sighs> good, we're gonna do that six more times. Exhale, good, right. Exhale, left. Four more here. Try and squeeze the knees together. Three, good. Two, and one. Try to stay up or take a break by putting your feet down for a moment. And you're gonna kick the feet up. Exhale, eight, okay? Exhale, seven. And you can do this from the floor as well. Exhale, six. Can get a little break each time. Exhale, five. Good, exhale, four. Draw the navel in. Exhale, three. Exhale, two. Exhale, one. I'm gonna do arms and legs together. You ready? <laughs> exhale, eight. Good, a little more challenging. It's a little more challenging to keep your posture in alignment as well, to keep the chest open here. Exhale, good, you guys. Let's do four more together. Exhale, four. 
Draw the navel in for three. Exhale, two, last time. Exhale, one, and then go ahead, bend the knees, roll all the way down for a moment. Good work, let go of your band, and then just hug the right knee into the chest. Stretch the left leg out, flex the left foot, and just feel an opening in the hip flexors here. Good, it's nice to do this after teasers. And then go ahead and switch sides. Hug the left knee in, stretch the right leg out. Stay here to breathe in. And exhale, feel that opening through the right hip. Good, and then go ahead and use the back of your leg or come up to seated however you'd like to come up. And then we're gonna do a little bit of planking next. So we're coming up onto the hands and the knees to start. You have some options here. If you'd like to work in quadruped, you don't want to come all the way into full plank for whatever reason. It's too much on the shoulders. It's too much on the neck, too much on the wrist, whatever your reason. You can do all this from the hands and the knees, okay? And so when I say lift your right arm, you would do that. Okay, you know, you know that exercise. When I say lift your right leg, you do this, okay? When I say lift opposite arm and leg, you do that, right? Okay, so very easy to modify this exercise and bring it onto the knees. Now, if you wanna do a modified plank, make it a little harder, but not a full plank, you'd walk the knees back here, okay? And so when I say lift the right arm, it's gonna be a little harder, okay? When I say lift the right leg, okay, for instance, this is what you'll do, okay? You'll extend it out, okay? And then you'll bring it right back in, but not too close in. All right, so that's how you'll modify it if you wanna keep the knees down in between, um, just to give you a preview or um, some reference, you don't have to come up yet, but when you're in your full plank, you're gonna lift right arm, then left arm, right arm, then left arm. Okay, so a total of four arm raises. And then right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, total of four alternating leg raises. And then, <laughs> the doozy, we're gonna do right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. Okay, so four of each set alternating sides each time. All right, so you're gonna be up there for a little while. Spread the fingers, commit the index finger knuckles to staying down. Inhale to prepare, and then exhale, find your plank. All right, I'm gonna open my feet a little bit for better balance. If you wanna make it harder, bring your feet together. Inhale, right arm lifts up. Exhale, lower. Good, so far so good. Inhale, left arm lifts up. Exhale, lower, re-engage your core. Inhale, right. Exhale, lower, inhale, left arm. Exhale, now I'm trying to keep my pelvis from wiggling around. Okay, so here we go, I'm bring my feet together for the leg lifts. Inhale, right, exhale, lower, good. Inhale, left, exhale, lower. Inhale, right, exhale, lower. Inhale, left, exhale, lower. Now I'm gonna spread my feet wide again. All right, you ready? You can do this. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, lower, good. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, lower. Okay, one more time each side, right arm, left leg. And lower, last time you can do it. Left arm, right leg, exhale, lower, knees down, shell stretch. Woo, that was difficult. Take a deep breath in here. And exhale. One more deep breath in. And exhale. And then inhale, roll all the way up onto the hips. Great job, you guys. That was not easy. All right, we're moving into our standing section and we're gonna be up there for a little while. So to get there, we're gonna come onto the hands and the knees, spread the fingers wide, commit your index finger knuckles to staying down, shoulders off the ears. Tuck your toes under and we're gonna press into downward facing dog, walk the hands back into forward fold and then roll up to stand, okay? So I want you to inhale, prepare, exhale, shift your hips back, put weight in your toes, lift your knees and extend the legs back as much as you can, separate your feet about hip distance apart or a little wider. And then keep the knees a little bit bent here and walk the hands back to the feet. Hang out in forward fold for just a moment. Let your head drop and your neck relax. Keep the knees bent, widen the feet if you need to try and get them straight and they won't if your feet are really close together. And then take a deep breath in. Exhale, scoop your abdominals, keep your knees bent and roll up until your head is the last thing to come up and you're totally upright. For the next exercise, we're gonna do a curtsy lunge with an optional arm movement and side bend of the body. So we're just creating a little more challenge for your balance and your stability and also your coordination. You've got to coordinate opposite limbs here and you're gonna to have to side bend sometimes in the opposite direction than you think. All right, so we're gonna take it very slowly and you don't need any equipment at all for this exercise. We're gonna take the left foot behind us first. Let's just practice the curtsy lunge. Place the hands on the hips. 
cross the left foot behind, bend the back knee, and then step together. Let's do that two more times, total of three. Exhale and inhale, good, one more. Exhale and inhale. Now, if you're doing this on your mat and it's pretty thick, you might wanna consider taking the mat out from underneath your feet and being on a more stable surface like your carpet or your hardwood floor or a harder or a surface that's the stable and not squishy, just a note, okay. So now your left arm is gonna lift up here. Okay, it's gonna stay up. You're gonna side bend over, so we're still on the left leg. It crosses behind, and you side bend over to the right. This is similar to something we did yesterday. Okay, and you're gonna come back up for three. Repeat, exhale two, inhale good. Exhale one, and inhale. Now, when you come up, we're gonna do a little leg lift, and you can side bend into it with that arm. Okay, so let's add that on. We're gonna do six of those. Okay, it's kind of the bulk of our curtsy lunge here. Set, and so we'll exhale, left leg over, side bend, and then you're either gonna come up and just hold, okay, or, woo, balance, you're gonna add the leg lift over and kind of side bend into it. Now take it back to that curtsy lunge. You can sweep through, or you can tap each time in between for four more. Good. Three, two, almost there, one, and lift. All right, so that kick doesn't have to be very high, okay? <laughs> you can keep it very tiny. So let's work on the other side. So just hands on the hips, right foot's gonna cross behind now for three. Exhale, three, inhale, good. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale, one, Inhale, okay, right arm is up. We're just side bending, we're not doing that leg lift yet. All right, so you curtsy, exhale, side bend over, and then come up. This might be all you wanna do for the remainder of the set. Exhale, two, inhale, gets up to you. Exhale, one, inhale, okay, so practice with me before you put it all together. This is the leg that goes up, right leg, and you side bend into it, okay? So let's do six more, that bulk of our set. Here we go. Exhale, right leg crosses behind, and then you can tap and lift, or just sweep through for five more, good. Whew. And four, excellent you guys. Here's three. Whoa, I'm wobbly on this side too. Good, <laughs> and one more time, bloopers. One, and lift. All right, so that was actually my right side, right, even though I'm your mirror image. So I need to work on my right side balance. Okay, moving on. For the next set of standing exercises, grab your band if you have one. And if you wanna just hold some weights, dumbbells, or heavy cans, just make sure your cans are the same size or whatever objects you're holding are the same size and same weight, okay. So we're gonna stand on the band if you have one with just your left foot, just your left foot. And we're gonna balance on that left foot and do some frontal raises, okay? So if this feels really heavy or your band is too tight to do both arms at the same time, you can move the band over, give yourself some slack, and just do one arm, okay, at a time. You can do one set, pause it, and then switch hands. Don't switch legs, but switch hands, okay? And, um, so that's always a way to sort of modify if you feel like your resistance tubing is too intense, all right? Balance on the left foot, pull up on the kneecap, squeeze your butt cheek, and then float that right leg up. I'm gonna bring it behind me with my knee a little bit in front, but you can certainly do it this way as well, okay? Wherever you feel like, or maybe out here, wherever you feel like you have the best opportunity to stay on this one leg. So we'll inhale to prepare and frontal raise for 12. Exhale, I'm going just below shoulder level, so I'm not lifting up above shoulder level. I don't wanna give my shoulders an opportunity to hike up here, okay? Exhale, nine. Keep the wrists very straight. Exhale, eight. Check them out there, make sure they're not doing this. Okay, good. Exhale, elbows a little bit bent, think a micro bend. Good, exhale for five more. Good, you guys. Exhale four, it's a small muscle group, anterior deltoid, so it gets tired pretty easily. Two more here, exhale, one more time, exhale, and inhale, good. We're gonna switch legs. So again, if you needed to modify that and just do one arm at a time, go ahead and switch arms, but don't switch legs, and then join us for this next exercise on your other leg, all right? So switch to the other leg, 
This time you're doing shoulder flies out to the side. Okay, so you might encounter the same situation with your flex band, in which case just do one arm, stay on the same leg, and then do the other arm. Give yourself some slack. So I'm just gonna kind of move my leg out of the way because I've gotta get my arms over to the side. So I'm just kind of turning my knee out, almost like a tree pose. We'll inhale to prepare, pull up on the kneecap, squeeze your butt, and then exhale, lift out to the side for 12. Good, exhale, 11. Beautiful, you guys, draw your navel in, 10. Keep the wrists really straight, make sure you're not doing this. Keep them strong for eight. Ooh, balance. Exhale, seven. Good, shoulders down. Exhale, six. Exhale, five. Nice, you guys. For four, almost there. Hold that balance. Three, you can do it. Exhale, two. One more time, I'm feeling it. Exhale, one, good. And that's the medial deltoid. So it has a little more stamina than the anterior deltoid, but not much, you'll feel it. Good work. So we've got one remaining standing exercise. I'm gonna to turn to the side just so you can see my form a little bit more clearly. Stand on the band with your right foot and we're gonna do um, some stationary lunges in that the right foot stays in place, but they're really kind of a combination of stationary and backward lunges because your left foot is gonna be lunging backwards, which is easier on the knees, okay? If you have a band, um, step on it with your right foot if you don't hold objects, dumbbells in your hands, or nothing at all. And then you're gonna lunge back with the left foot. You land on the left ball of the foot, heel is up, and then you're gonna lift the elbows up about shoulder level and bicep curl. And then inhale, same thing, we're just gonna do eight on each side. Exhale, seven. Good, you guys. Exhale, six. Exhale, five. Exhale, four. Keep your elbows in line with your shoulders. Don't let them go out to the side. Two, one more time. Exhale and inhale, good work. So if you're working with a band, step on it with your left foot. Now I put it right on my arch, my instep. And then the right foot is your mover, right leg is your mover. Same thing with the arms, those bicep curls. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, land on the right ball of the foot. Take a big step back so the front knee doesn't go past the toes. If you're really close in here, you're gonna shear the knee joint. Okay, so you wanna be careful. Inhale, good, seven more. Exhale. Good. Alignment is everything. Six. So is balance today. Exhale, five. Exhale, four. Good, you guys, for three. Good. Every time I change my balance and my gaze, my balance goes. So pick a focal point. Exhale, one. And inhale, well done. From here, you can put the band to the side. And then we're going to roll down the same way we came up. So I'm just going to back up here to give myself some space. Bend the knees and then separate the feet about hip distance or a little wider. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, start from the head and roll yourself all the way down until you're in that forward fold again. Let your head drop, let your neck relax. Keep the knees bent and hang out here for a breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to look forward, exhale to walk out to plank just briefly. Hold your plank as you inhale, good. And then exhale, lower the knees for shell stretch. Take a deep breath in and out. And one more in and out. And then inhale, look forward again. Walk out onto your elbows, lower down onto your abdomen, and flip over onto your back for our final stretches. You'll probably want to grab a towel or a yoga strap for these stretches, unless you're super bendy, super flexible. Lie on your back, with or without something underneath your head, depending on if you feel like your neck needs the support. And then we're gonna hug the right knee into the chest, stretch the left leg all the way out and flex that foot. Good. Okay, now here's where the opportunity for a yoga strap. You could even use your flex band if you want to. It's just not going to give you as much support because it is, um, right, it, it flexes. <laughs> so you want something a little sturdier if you have it. Towel or yoga strap around the right foot. And then you extend the right leg up. And you know I always say, if you feel hip tension in that left side, bend the left knee. Left foot flat, no problem, okay? If it just gives you more access to the stretch. And then point and flex your right foot a couple of times, feel that stretch through the calf, circle the foot around in one direction, and around in the other direction a few times, and just notice how things are feeling in that ankle joint. And then keep the foot flexed, hold that stretch, take a deep breath in, 
And I'll get a little deeper into your stretch. Good. And then cross the right ankle on the left thigh. So you'll have to bend the left knee in. And you're either going to lace your fingers or loop your strap or towel behind the thigh. And then help yourself into this stretch for the glutes and the outer thigh. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale is a tight place for so many of us, especially if you've been sitting, binging on Netflix or whatever it is lately. <laughs> All of us have. And take another deep breath in here. Exhale, get a little deeper into it and release. Good. So we want to balance you out and do the other side. So we'll start from the top, hug the left knee into the chest and stretch the right leg all the way out, flex that right foot. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, get a little closer in with that knee if you can, and then go ahead and grab your towel or your strap, or you can extend the leg and you can certainly just hold on to the back of the thigh. Here, we wanna get the knee straight. We're really working on flexibility at the end of our workout. So if you can't get the knee straight, use a towel or maybe just bend this knee. That might help you as well. Okay, do all of the above. And then point and flex a couple of times. Circle the foot around in one direction and the other, and then just hold that stretch. Take a deep breath in. And I'll get a little deeper. I think I'm tighter on this side. I'm gonna spend one more inhale and exhale here. Good. And then go ahead and cross that left ankle on the right thigh, loop the hands, towel, or strap behind the right thigh and bring it on in for that outer hip glute stretch or supine supported pigeon, Kapotasana from yoga. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, get a little deeper into your stretch. One more inhale and exhale. Great work. You can release the stretch, release your towel. And then we're going to come to seated. So you can do that any way you'd like. I'm going to hug my knees in, curl my forehead up, and then roll up like a little mini rolling like a ball. But again, you get up however you'd like. And then find a comfortable seat. And let's finish up with the same breathing exercise with which we began. And you can see if you feel a little more limber. Okay, so we'll inhale, lift that right arm up. Again, find your comfortable seat. Prop yourself up if you need to. Exhale, stretch over to the left. Stay there to breathe and see if you got a little further into it. I definitely feel like I did. And then exhale to come back to center, lower the right arm down. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Make sure you're staying open. Maybe it's easier to do that here. Inhale, breathe in to the left side of the ribs. And then exhale, come all the way back to center. And then just one more big breath in, both arms overhead. Inhale, reach up, look up, arch back. Exhale, your arms come down gently. And I hope you have a beautiful day. I'm so appreciative of your effort and your presence here and the ability to connect with you virtually. Thank you so much, everyone.